everyone. I am in Burlington today. Behind me is Burlington's Driving Examination Center. Today we're doing G Fool road test. I'm gonna take you on an actual mock-up exam. We're gonna go on the highway, do the full uh, actual route, and give you all the tips and tricks so you can pass your road test from the first time. Now when you come in, there might be a line all the way over here. If you have a road test, just go straight inside. Don't wait in the line. Now when you come in and park your car in the designated spot, I recommend you park backwards. So when you start, you're ready to go forward and uh, you're off to your exam. All right, so here we are in the car. We went inside, we registered, and now we're waiting for the examiner to show up. Today, uh, during this mock-up exam, uh, my friend who's an expert in this field is gonna be helping us and uh, giving us all the tips and tricks for the road test. Hello, everybody. <laughs> so before the road test, the examiner will uh, come to you after, after you um you've been on the reg registration after you register and by the way if there is a line during the registration you can just go straight inside yeah, if there's yeah. some if there's a lot of people waiting outside don't wait in line just go straight in and say you have a road test yeah so you have a road test appointment and it's uh, they let you in and uh, before the road test uh, examiner will come to you and uh, uh, they want you to verify your id and ask you what's your name what's your address uh, what's your date of birth, make sure you know your postal code and um, then the examiner going making circle check going around your car and uh, asking to start your car and make a signal left they check in signal right, make sure all your lights are working properly uh, signal left, signal right and uh, brake lights uh, make sure you have no cracks on the windshield. If you have a crack, it's... If you have a crack, it's... Uh, is test will be terminated. Yeah, and... Um, tires, good tires. There should be good tires. Horn your horn, honk your horn. And, um, yeah, and make sure you feel comfortable inside your car, so full, if you... Full tank of gas. Full tank of gas. It's if... a good idea to go to the gas station before the road test. Or at least you want to have at least half. At least yeah. half, yeah, that's a good idea. So make sure you feel comfortable. If you have winter jacket, it's a good idea to take it off. Yeah. And uh, yeah, because... Uh, In the winter, especially, uh, if you have a big jacket, you don't want to be all clunky here. Yeah. You want to be comfortable. So throw this yeah. in the back. And during COVID, you will be required to wear a mask as well. Wear a so mask and open the windows. Uh, yeah, and then um, you start your car. Make sure you back up. So, can you can you take a, like what kind of car can you take on the exam? Can you take a rental car if you don't have your own? Yeah, you can use your like your friends, your family, and parents' car. You can use your own car. You can rent a car for the road test. It's uh, yeah. You right now you cannot use like real size vans for the road test without windows so it should be like windows all around your car so you can use any product. what about two-seater car yeah that's two door two door car yeah that's okay and can you use uh, technology in your car let's say you have a backup camera can you use that to yeah. back yeah if, if you don't have a uh what is this handbrake and you have a button little yeah. button you can use that yeah yeah All make, make sure you use these buttons like uh, parking brake if you have no like real like uh, le lever yeah you can use a like knob or like what button is yeah button, parking. yeah mm -hmm. So use use all the technology you have in the car. Yeah, yeah. If you have a backup camera, yeah, when you make a three point turn in parallel parking and uh, reverse parking, you can use it. Yeah. Before it was restricted. Right now, it's pretty basic feature in pretty much all the cars. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you're ready, start the car. Okay. Don't forget to buckle Back up. up. Okay, on the road test, uh, make sure you check in your rear view from time to time. 
examiner wants you to check your rear view every 5 to 10 seconds and uh, make sure you check in your blind spots over shoulder checks make sure you make all the signals indication signal left signal right uh, make sure your speed limit under control all the time and your test should be uh, will be in in two parts first part is going to be city and the second part is the highway on the city in the city part examiner will ask you to make a three point turn parallel parking and uh, emergency stop or roadside stop when you use your four-way signal button and uh, on the highway part is uh, going to be part of highway 403 with speed limit 100 km per hour and the examiner will ask you to make a lane change to the left right left right left right and uh, three main ideas accelerate and enter merge to traffic then changing your lanes left and right and exit from highway and duration of the road test is about like 22 maybe 25 minutes if you stop three times on the red traffic light and after 25 minutes you're going to be here back to this plaza examination center plaza and uh, the road test starts from here and it's going to be finished here maybe different parking spot different <laughs> parking spot yeah okay so Ready, ready. Uh, let's go right. Let's go to the right. So I'm gonna use the handbrake. Handbrake use all the time. Uh, put on D. Yeah, make a signal right. Make sure no cars, no pedestrians and, uh, in front of you. Okay, so today is sunny, like sunny day. Can I use my sunglasses? No, I don't recommend you to use your sunglasses. You're gonna be survive uh, without sunglasses because examiners they want to see your eyes movement, how you check in your rear view, how you check in left and right. So my recommendation to you: don't use the sunglasses on the road test for the road test unless you have prescription. Unless you really need it, you can. But yeah, and make it easier for them to see that you are checking, yeah, yeah. you are looking. I get don't more, recommend you to use the sunglasses. Yep. Okay. okay, let's go right. Okay, no one there on the left. Everything safe. No Two hands cars, on the wheel. No pedestrians here. No any people. Yeah, if, oh, if there's okay. people running around, wait. Be be careful. Yeah. Don't be in rush. Main idea of the road test is safety. You have to perform a safe driving. Yeah. Here we have three-way stop sign. Uh, from our three ways, first come, first go, but it's practically stop only for us. Okay, we're going straight till traffic light, and this traffic light we're gonna turn left. Okay, it's a signal uh, in advance. Yeah. It's a good idea to stop ahead of the ahead of the car so you have enough distance to get out if, yeah if that car is it's a good down. idea if you can see the rear tires of this car and um, keep the distance don't be too close to the cars in front of you yeah and if your examiner is really like short, short? yeah they... take this in consideration <laughs> yeah yeah so keep enough distance in front of you Okay, so we turn into North Service Road, left, for left turn we have to wait till green and uh, make sure it's no any oncoming traffic cars, yeah, pedestrians, sometimes check your blind here. spot left, you turn left in the left lane and then you have to switch your lane to the right by yourself, examiner will not gonna ask you to make a lane change to the right, he just say okay, is this coming traffic light brand street we're gonna turn right here and we have a yield. Yeah, yield sign make sure no cars no pedestrians from the left and we're going straight here we have speed limit sign is 60 and we just keep going straight if all traffic flow in front of you going slowly you're keeping your distance and going with traffic flow speed. If all cars going faster, then speed limit is 60 and you go 60. Not more, because plus 10 kilometers from 60 is gonna be big mistake. And from time to time you check in your rear view. 
Traffic light in front is green, we're going straight. Checking left, right. Even if all cars are stopped, just you checking not only for cars but for pedestrians also. And there's a bike uh, lane here, be careful, bike there's lane, bikers. Be careful for bicyclists. And uh, here, this traffic light, we turn in right to the lay land. Lane led, land road, it's a local street, it's town residential neighborhood. And uh, first intersection or second intersection, we're gonna turn right. So let's make a right turn to Tree Land Street. And at this street, examiner will ask you to make a roadside stop. Let's make a roadside stop or emergency stop. Okay. So show the signal to the right. There's a car behind, so they see. Um, put on P, put on handbrake, and uh, turn on the uh, emergency light. Yeah, four-way signal. Four-way four signal, and uh, if it's a uh, well flat road, I'm just gonna put wheels all the way to the right. To the right, yeah, towards the car. Towards the car. Okay, sounds good. Let's get out from here. Turn off. Yeah, the... it's uh, actually one of the most common mistakes. Uh, just students they forget uh, to turn it off. Uh, yeah. Make the wheel straight. Handbrake. Yeah. Put on D. Signal. And uh, you remember formula mirror, signal, blind spot, MSB, MSB, MSB. If mirror, it's clear, signal, blind spot. Yep. Let's clear. go. If you have some cars, just wait, let them pass, and then you're gonna go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Another way, another thing is uh, parallel parking. Mm. Okay. Let's make a parallel parking with this silver car. Silver car, okay. So your parallel parking gonna be with the one car. Is uh, never examiner will ask you to make in between two cars, or if it's in between two cars, it's gonna be enough room to make. A, okay, wait for this one. Mm, I didn't see. It's a bad idea to wait. Yeah, because your car is turning and it's practically blocking the all the road. So if you have some cars in front, oncoming cars or behind, you will just wait for them to pass and then you're gonna make a mm -hmm. parallel parking. Yeah, we're good. And the main idea is uh, not to touch the curb. Don't touch the curb, yeah. Okay. And uh, I'm gonna make the wheel straight, adjust a little bit forward. Okay. Put the put on P, put the uh, handbrake, and turn the wheels to the right. Towards the curb. Towards the curb. Okay, that's good. Let's put off get the, out from off the brake. Yep. Okay, so if, if you are not familiar with this, we also have a video on yep. how to do parallel parking properly yeah. and you can practice and... Yeah, make sure you practice a lot uh, with different different cars, uh, minivans, SUVs, uh, uh, long pickup truck and the short cars. You have to feel comfortable with parallel parking because parallel parking is one of the main exercises and it's uh, you never know what kind of car is going to be on the road test so mm -hmm. make sure you practice a lot with different different cars and there there will be an unlimited kind of distance yeah unlimited distance behind of you yeah. okay so uh handbrake make the wheels straight put on the ear put the signal we're gonna back out a little bit Signal blind spot and we're just getting out. Blind spot. Should be no cars here. Yeah. Okay. Especially. Okay. Busy, busy 
three. And let's make a three point turn here. No, it's actually calm residential street. I don't know so many cars. where these cars came from. Like it's usually dead street. Okay, okay. three so point turn. Right. Signal to the left, no cars in front. No cars yeah, you don't want to touch the curb with your wheels. It should be in between two curbs. Forward, right. back. Looking and backwards, when you're backwards going physically backwards. look at the back. Forward, left, signal left, all the way to the left. Yeah, and when you did a three point turn, that's all. You're getting out from this residential area, and right now we're gonna go to highway 403. And it's uh, all your city driving is practically done. Okay, first coming stop sign we turn in left to lane le Leyland Road stop only for us no stop line so you stop before sidewalk you don't want to block a uh, way for pedestrians and there is no stop sign for these cars so yeah. let them pass let them pass okay we're going straight to Brand Street and then we turn in left. Okay, there's a left. Here's left a lane left here. lane. And it's orange, so we stop before the stop. Yeah, lane. and for left turn, we have to wait until green. Until green light. But on the red, you can turn right. Yeah, on the, yeah after full stop, you can make a right turn on red, red traffic light. Yeah. But uh, you have to check that there is no cars in two lanes. In two lanes, should be no cars in two lanes. Okay. Because sometimes cars just changing the lanes, just in front of intersection. Yeah. So now we're gonna go on the highway. Yeah, highway. It's gonna be part of highway 403. Speed limit is 100 kilometers per hour. The main idea, first idea is acceleration. You have to accelerate pretty energetic to merge into traffic. Sometimes traffic on a highway is going slowly than 100 kilometers, then you have to accelerate till traffic flow speed. But if traffic flow is going good, accelerate till 100 and merge with speed limit 100 kilometers per hour. Sometimes you can accelerate a little bit more, 105, but it's okay, yeah. When you're standing, I guess, on the traffic, you, you don't want to let go of the wheel, right? Yeah. Like you don't want to be like, hands, ah. Both hands should be on the steering wheel. So practically your steering wheel should be under control all the time. Here we make a left turn in the left lane and then we switch two lanes to the right, once and twice. Okay, and we're gonna enter highway 403 towards Toronto. Here on the curve we have recommended speed limit is 30. But that's so, just a suggestion. Yeah, it's a suggestion. So plus 10 from recommended speed is gonna be good. It's one lane, nobody gonna pass you here. And when this curve is uh, straightening, you accelerate. And make a signal left in advance. Okay. Hungry, so. And let's make a lane change to the left into the main lanes. And here, examiner will ask you to make a lane change to the left and right. Left and right. Okay, change your lane left, please, if it's safe. And you estimate if it's safe to do so, change your lane. If it's not, wait. Or you can always say, okay it's not safe right now and then examiner say okay stay in this lane keep going straight they don't want to take a necessary risk so we're going straight we're gonna pass the guelph lane we're going to walker's lane and we're gonna be exiting the walker's lane okay let's make a lane change to the left if it's safe and yeah that is good Okay, let's make a lane change to the right if it's safe. And 
Your speed limit should be under control all the time. Okay, and let's make a lane change to the right if it's safe. All four wheels should be in new lanes and you off your signal. It's good. Okay, we're gonna be exit to the walker's lane. And we're gonna turn and the examiner will ask you to go to enter highway second time on the way back. And you're checking speed time to time. Speed. You don't want to be going 110. Yeah. 100. We're checking your rear view. We're gonna be exit here. And after exit, then we slow down. On the, on the first traffic light, we're gonna turn left. Recommended speed is 50. You just off your foot from the gas, and your speed is going down gradually. Left, so yeah, switch to yeah, and it's a good idea to turn left from the second lane mm. because after the bridge, after the turn, we're gonna go through the bridge and we're gonna enter highway again. Mm. So we turn from second lane to the second row and then we switch your lane to the right and we're gonna enter highway 403 towards west to Hamilton. Have to wait and for here pedestrian. we have pedestrian cross. And if it's no, make sure it's no pedestrians. And if there are, we stop. Um, yeah, there they have, we have. There is a stop sign actually for pedestrians, not for us. Ah, okay. So pedestrians should yield the traffic, but sometimes pedestrian like Doesn't not listen. so organized. Yeah, <laughs> they just keep going. So. Okay, make a signal left in advance, accelerate, and we're gonna merge. Okay. Into the traffic. I'm at 100. Merging at 100. You don't want to merge at like 70, 80, right? Yeah. That. Yeah. And uh, here, sometimes examiner will ask you to make a lane change to the left, to the right, one more time. But the first exit is 12 line. We're gonna be exit. Mm. And uh, after that exit, we're going by city towards back towards examination center. If you have chance to go 100, go 100. Check in your rear view. Right here, examiner will ask you to make a lane change to the right because we're gonna exit 12 lane. Yeah, like a formula MSB, mirror signal, blind spot. All the time. Okay, and here we are going off so we can yeah. uh, let the food off, off, off the, the gas. gas. I recommend it is 50 and uh, right now we're going around like 80 but gradually our speed is uh, slowing, down. slowing down. And here we go straight. Yeah. At this traffic light we're gonna go straight and it's only one lane to go straight. So keep in this lane. And you're gonna stay in this lane pretty long enough. Green. Green, check, check left, green. right, left, everybody stops, okay. Okay, no speed signs here, I'm gonna assume it's 50. It's 50, yeah, by default. If you have no speed limit signs, it's 50 by default. And stay in this lane, and... We're gonna turn left. First coming traffic light, it's a north service road, we're gonna turn left. Show it signal left. Yeah, show a signal in advance, you stop before stop line, and here we have to wait till green. Okay, cars are slowing down yeah. here for us, turning. And right here we have speed limit sign is 60. Sign and it's uh, 60. speed up till 60. We wanna, it's a good sunny day, so we want to go 60. Yep. But uh, if it's snowy, if it's snow, <laughs> icy road, you, you, you go as you feel safe. As you feel safe. Safety is the main 
idea of this exam you have to perform safe driving nice polite driving you see everybody everybody seeing you you say hello yeah <laughs> okay okay checking speed yeah here's the another mirror. another speed limit sign is 60 anytime there's speed sign it's good to check your to check your speed if your speed under control your speed should be under control all the time especially here downhill like yeah. you can accelerate easily there is no cars <laughs> yeah okay traffic light is green we keep going straight okay checking intersection left right left speed limit is 60 and here we have bicycle lane if you have bicyclists, pay attention for them. And we stay in this lane, we don't want to be driving in the left one because yeah. right one is for driving right and turning right. Yeah, left so. lane is for passing or turning left. So stay in this lane. We're going to keep going straight. And this coming traffic light, we're going straight back to examination center plaza. Okay, and... Uh... Yeah, this is the plaza where we started so we did like a loop and uh, we will be doing what next parking yeah. and the last one examiner will ask you to make a parking on the parking plaza in examination center it's maybe front end parking or backward parking backwards make sure you practice your back parking a lot it's gonna be uh, probably back parking uh, to the right but sometimes to the left in any like uh, free spot so we have a special video on that one so it's gonna be in description below the yeah video. check out the skills uh, yeah. playlist and it has the it has the um, how to how to do it properly if you uh, if you're not sure there's tips tips and tricks and this traffic light is gonna turn right Check for pedestrians, blind spot, blind spot. Okay. and uh, let's make a left turn here to the plaza. Following this car, and there's no, there's no stop sign, so we have the right of way. Mm -hmm. Turning right. Okay, and let's make a reverse parking in place number eleven. Eleven. Okay, one one, number one. showing signal yeah signal if you turn in right if you're parking to the right make a signal right which way you gonna turn your car yeah and your car should be in between two lanes and should be enough uh, room for examiner and for you to get out and uh, it's a good idea if you can make it from the first shot but if it's not you go back and forth to fix your position you can actually use these ones in the yeah. front as, yeah. a, as a guide. It's lane to lane, actually. Yeah. It's a good idea. And uh, you stop, we put on P, yeah. uh, handbrake, uh, we turn off the car. Yeah, and then and at this point, examiner will you, say you, okay, you pass the road test. Where do I sign? Where yeah. do I get my license? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go inside the examination center and you're gonna get your temporary license and uh, new plastic card uh, you'll take it uh, you'll get it like in two maybe three weeks by mail mm. uh -huh. and uh, one of the things I think examiners w might ask at the beginning of this test is well have you practiced driving on highway yeah have you the, uh, uh, it's, a, it's actually right now in the computer there is a question how many times in the last three months you've been on the highways and we have two kind of highways, highway 400 series and highway with 80 series with speed limit 80 kilometers per hour. My recommendation to put like, I've been on the highways like in the last three months more than 100 times. I drive highways back and forth every day. So you have to practice like your highway driving. You have to be comfortable with speed limit, with changing lanes and uh, what's the uh, distance you're driving on the highway there is another question 
Okay, more than 20 kilometers per hour. You not only enter highway and exit first exit, but you drive more than 20 kilometers. You adjusted your speed, you change in lanes, and uh, yeah, you you do you did some maneuvers, and you feel comfortable with the highway driving. And if they ask you how do you feel, like just say I'm excited instead of yeah, like oh I'm yeah. nervous and scared. Don't and, say uh, you're nervous. Yeah, okay, you excited, but you feel confident and comfortable. Mm -hmm. and uh yeah mm -hmm. and uh, what would you say like some of the reasons why uh, you can fail yeah uh, you, most common mistakes is uh you didn't make a full stop on a stop sign so it's actually mistakes in in the city yeah like mo more. mostly it's mis mistakes on the city on the highway if you have chance to accelerate till 100 but you're merging on 80 with speed limit 80 kilometers per hour is too slow that's the only probably but mostly people uh, fail because of city driving didn't make a full stop on the stop sign touch the curb when they doing like parallel parking or three point turn and uh, if it's a uh, speed limit 60 or 50 you're going more than that Mm. So, what if you're changing lanes at the intersection? Yeah, it's better idea to change your lane before intersection or after traffic That's light. That's a big mistake to know. Yeah, or? it's a, it's a mistake. Mm. If you if examiner say okay, change your lane left and right, and uh, you cannot make it before intersection, then go cross intersection and try to change your lane after that. Don't do it in the in the middle of intersection. Mm. And um, what would you say like the best time to do your your G two uh, uh, G, G full road test? I mean, it it best, gets busy like during like yeah. It, certain it's times it's a good day. idea to avoid rush hour in the morning and afternoon. Rush hour in the morning usually end in like uh, after nine o'clock in the morning, and rush hour afternoon is starting like after three o'clock p.m. after three o'clock mm. afternoon. So from probably 9.30 till 2 o'clock, it's a good time. Highway is not that busy and it's uh, you have room and uh, distance to change your lane, to merge in traffic. So it's easier just these hours because rush hours, sometimes it's busy. Sometimes it's heavy, long trucks and it's uh, hard to change your lanes. What if like in the morning could be school buses and yeah. what if you have school bus or like fire truck? Yeah, I mean it, that that happens sometimes, right? Like yeah, if you have uh, police, firefighters, and ambulance going with sirens and hazard signals, uh, you have to pull over to the right and stop your car and wait for them to pass, and don't follow them less than 150 meters. So let them go pretty far ahead. And if it's school bus, uh, you know, picking up kids or dropping off kids. Uh, and stop with hazard signals uh, it's uh, you have to stop 20 meters before the school bus and it doesn't matter which uh, way school bus is going in your way or oncoming traffic way all road just stops and wait until bus uh, close the doors and off these hazard signals mm -hmm. okay um, so maybe can we talk about uh, some of the tips uh, I mean, we talked about like common mistakes, but some of the tips that uh, give people tips to pass this test. So for me, I think a lot of uh, like I was really nervous. Yeah. And so for me, it was like, how do I calm down my nerves and practicing like going yeah, going on an actual route. Yeah, right? it's, it, practicing it's, it's a good idea. For before. example, yeah, go to examination center one and a half hour before. Because 30 minutes before the road test, you have to be on registration. And uh, just take like one hour before the road test. Go through the road a couple times, three times. And you'll be familiar with the uh, road closures, constructions on the road, and uh, area, conditions, weather conditions. conditions, weather conditions, and road conditions. You go like two, three times before the road test, and then you go for registration, and then you're gonna go for for the road test. You feel, just feel more confident. Yeah. Because you know what to expect. Mm. 
and I for this route specifically that we went through if you had a hard time following uh, there's actually a GPS uh, route so you can you can click on it and it will take you to like Google Maps or whatever map software you use and uh, you can actually see it and you can if you come here you can practice it as well so it will recognize your location and you, you just click start and, and it will take you through through this route um, it will also include any other routes that uh, examiners take you in this location you can I'll leave the link in the in the description but it's available on drivetesthelp.ca um, so you can you can download it from from there if, if you're interested in you know practicing just you put it on the phone and you go through the route yeah uh, and uh, it's a good uh, so if you pass the road test it's good congratulations yeah and it's uh, but if you didn't pass the road test so next the ro next road test you can book not earlier than after 10 days and sometimes in 10 in 10 days uh, the road test in this examination center is not available then you can book a road test in any examination centers of ontario or close to you uh, maybe you have another one so we have description on that one uh, different examination centers too so. yeah if you did yeah if your test is rescheduled and you're doing it somewhere else uh, we have all the centers so take a look if you're if you're not doing it here uh, there is one kind of exception with the covid like if you are basically part of the lockdown you can't let's say toronto is in lockdown you can't just go and travel like north of toronto where it, the city is not in lockdown and do it test there they they will actually turn you away so just check um if you're rescheduling check the current you know recent the rules status, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah okay um you also want to be probably another tip is to be polite and yeah, to the examiner uh, and, uh, and uh, if examiner say okay is this traffic light turn left you have to acknowledge like just acknowledge like okay yes sir yes ma'am if it's lady and uh, okay sure of course just uh, response, response and uh, make sure they feel more comfortable with that one that uh, they just know that you you know what to do your life yeah your... <laughs> yeah because if it's like oh is this traffic light let's make a left turn and it's silent like okay. and it's like uh, uh, did they get it did yeah, they understand yeah, what, what's happening yeah. um another rule i think is uh to make sure you for when you drive safely you you try to prevent accidents so one person uh failed for example that they were driving on the road and and the car was backing out from the driveway uh, from the from the house and they didn't see them so they went on the road and this person was kept driving and basically almost caused an incident uh, even though they were right and in the sense that they were on the main road and the person who's backing out from their house they should look and and let that car pass right but um, the examiner actually failed the person because they saw they saw that the person backing out but they they kind of um, you know put, yeah. put put themselves in dangerous situation and almost caused an incident so let the stupid go first and uh yeah main idea is safety. Like, even if you like if someone else is not not that right, right yeah, yeah just like let's try it. to prevent any yes. accidents yes okay we talked about driving according road conditions like if it's raining today is nice day but if it's like super hard rain you can't see there's limited visibility it's icy there's snow on the road you don't have to drive like 60 kilometers an hour if it says speed limit is 60 uh drive as you feel safe like yes. slow down yeah. right um according to the road conditions and weather conditions yeah mm -hmm. Just... and um you like there's a lot of things that examiners evaluate you on right yeah. there's they have they usually have this uh well they they use the ipad or tablet whatever uh, yeah. and they have the the check marks there and they look yeah. for a lot of yeah. things and some things you can make many mistakes on yeah. like blind yeah. spot you there's like i think eight boxes or something mm -hmm. um but some mistakes you can only make like two mistakes right yeah so if you're interested in that you can also download that um on the website drivetesthelp.ca uh, it's called marking schema for G full road test. 
you can take a look at that and see what exactly they you're being evaluated on uh, you can print that give it to your friend if your friend is you know coming with you to practice this road test they can kind of evaluate you and and, and see if you are um yeah it's a good idea go through, through properly. this marking him and just uh, to be familiar with uh, what they're looking what, for yeah what kind of boxes they have to check to, to put a check mark so just go through and uh, you'll see what uh, to pay attention for yeah i think that will be useful um okay so any any other tip i guess for yeah just just nice. be yeah. i think that's it just be nice make make the car comfortable yeah. for examiner like yeah. if it's summer and sunny and hot uh, put on AC, air put, right? Air, use air conditioner. If uh, if it's winter and it's very you know cold outside, warm up the car before the examiner shows up, so they're not like shivering. <laughs> yeah, as they're driving. Because you are on, on the road test, you have to feel comfortable yourself. But just make sure the examiner will comfortable to feel comfortable too. Yeah. yeah. So because is for them it's not that easy job <laughs> yeah yeah awesome okay so that was it that was our mock-up exam uh of the g um uh, well it's called properly g2 exit g2 exit and you're gonna After get this your... you're gonna get g but you yeah. know people call it g test or g full road test uh if we didn't answer your question or or you have uh any comments or feedback uh, for us, please write them in the comments below and I'll make sure to get back to you. If you passed the road test uh, here uh, and this video was helpful, also let us know. Um, and yeah. that's it. Thank you for watching. Yeah, subscribe, <laughs> push the button and like our video. If you have any comments, let us know. Yeah, hopefully yeah. it helps uh, other people. Yeah, recommend our video for your friends and family. Just like we're creating this stuff for helping you to pass the road test from first attempt. Awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Have a have a nice day or, or evening, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> depending on what time you're watching this at. And uh, see you well, in the next one. Bye bye. Bye bye.